After doing a couple of videos now on Descendants, my comments, my Discord server, which you should join by the way, the link is in the description, were absolutely filled with the words Julie and the Phantoms. What is it? Who knows? It's a show, obviously. I'm guessing Julie and the Phantoms is the band name or something. Other than that, I know nothing. Although it was directed by the same person that made Descendants? Someone who did something in Descendants also did something here. <laughs> That's vague enough to be right. <laughs> By the way, before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I've relaunched my Patreon recently. I'm uploading some uncut versions of my reactions over there. So if you'd like to see my reactions in full, as well as hear me swear in all of my glory, then the link is in the description below. The first song I'm actually quite excited for just because the thumbnail was really cool. This chick looks amazing. It's called All Eyes On Me. I mean, mad attitude already. I'm here for it. Why am I getting like Doja Cat vibes? Or maybe Peach, actually. <laughs> she said, not trying to brag, but I'm flawless. Isn't it weird how like sometimes when I watch things like this and I hear people say that, I'm like, oh, you sound like such a wanker. But for some reason, when someone says it like that and they acknowledge it, or if they're just like, yeah, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just literally the best thing in the world. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. It's like, it goes from like, oh yeah, you're a wanker to just like, yeah, slay. <laughs> Wait, ain't perfect, but you just said you're flawless. Where in the sh did he just come from? What? So is there magic in this world or something? Maybe that's the phantom. Is he a phantom? Well, one of the phantoms. Oh, they're all, they're all just as confused as me. What? Does she not realize he's there? Why does he look so creepy with it? <laughs> okay, why'd he kind of eat though? What the f***? <laughs> why did he absolutely demolish? Girl, what? Where? Okay. Um, well... I'm already a bit lost, but at least being confused gives me some idea of what's going on. Because he's magic, I guess, or dead. A phantom? Imagine if it was an opera singer. <laughs> you having fun out there? Oh, so it's it's normal for them? It's my feet. Yeah. What? Back in, coach. It's not my fault. It's my feet. Then put me back in, coach. So we want. Does he have cursed feet or something? Oh, it's the guys. It's what? It's the guys? It's the guys. I've no. No clue what she's- I feel like if I understood that, maybe I could get an idea. Sound like she just said, it's the guys. And do these people not notice him on stage? Or not care, maybe? I, grow up, I, wanna be I love her, oh my god. Yo, she's literally like Doja Cat vibes. And it works. The harmonies. I love this. I just want to hear a whole album from her. So is no one seeing this? What? So that small group clearly saw him and he like teleported over to talk to them. So they're aware, but nobody else was looking at him. None of the dancers, not even the lead lady. And he was like phasing through her, which feels creepy. I don't know. I, if, if I found out that a ghost was just like phasing through me, I'd feel a little bit violated. So maybe he's, maybe he is like a ghosty sort of thing, but like only appears to those people for some reason. Maybe she's Julie and she uses the phantoms to sing. <laughs> Look, I'm just throwing theories out there. Okay. I, I might not be right about anything. I usually am not. In any case, banging song, loved it. I want a full version, give it to me now. It was just too short, I wanted more. Although I guess a nice, easy, short song is a great introduction. The next one is called Edge of Great. I'm guessing it's her that's gonna sing it. Is it gonna be like a piano ballad? Also, Tooth Gap Twins. <laughs> oh, okay, girl. Oh my God.
Okay, she just has an incredible voice. And with a lot of shows like this, I feel like sometimes the vocals are like over-processed to the point that it doesn't really sound like supernatural singing, but there's not really anything else going on here. It's just piano. So we are really honed in on her voice and she's like flawless. Oh my God, the way she dips between breathy and, and the, the runs to, what? Okay. So, so, the, the, but none of these phantoms are the dude that was dancing, right? Maybe, maybe it's, were they, were, were the entire group she was talking to fan, they're ghosts? So she's got a ghost band, but now people can see them. <laughs> maybe I should just accept it. I don't know. God. I love this song too. This is definitely one of those shows that like doesn't make show songs, you know? They're just, they're just making songs and putting them in the show, which is so much better because it feels like a really natural, really strong song that stands by itself. Also really cool to see them have backing vocals like that. Why does she kind of sound like Sia? Oh, dip. I didn't expect to hear one of them properly sing. I just assumed it was going to be Julie the whole time. Yeah, give me a phantom. Again, clean, not very processed vocals. That's great. Man. The way he switched to harmony is great. The way they slide together is amazing. Oh my God, I love those pants. Why is this so good? And this guy's voice is great as both a lead and a harmony. He's able to do both roles so well. Also, just another song I'd listen to, to be honest. Man, that melody shift is beautiful. Shift it again. Oh my god, the, the little trill. <laughs> he matched the guitar to it. That is great. Oh my god, is she gonna go higher? She's like gonna belt. Being able to have these other two guys do backing vocals while these two do lead harmonies is so nice. They disappeared, but he didn't. The runs together so good. Okay, everyone's just disappearing and no one is like, oh, I guess they are losing their minds. I'm not, I just am never ready. My job is weird, y'all. I'm sitting here and I just, I'm like, I was so ready for something like kitschy, I don't know, like not too silly or anything, but just like, you know, a, a, a musical series. Even like the best Disney movies have songs that are just kind of not necessarily super song-like and strong. They're just only there so the characters can sing the story. These are just really well put together songs that I'm living for. I wonder if the streak is gonna continue. The next one is called Finally Free. Also starting on a piano. Now I'm just intrigued about everything. It's nice and simple as well. I just... I, I feel like I'm just running out of words. I, I don't know what to say, you know? I'm... She just... Top notch. Her voice isn't just like really nice and pleasant sounding, but it's perfectly suited for this tone. Both when it comes to her belty notes and this sort of slow ballady piano. I guess that just also speaks to her versatility. Even being able to do those voice breaks and not have it sound forced is impressive. The transition. Stop, again. 
it's such a like natural solid way to bring in a drop. That's kind of what it feels like. And I like how we've started slow and managed to get to these high highs, but it hasn't felt forced or rushed. It's a very natural slow progression. I say natural, but you know, other than the phantoms appearing out of literal nowhere. Man, I'm so ready for those harmonies. Her range is insane. What she can do with her voice. I just, I, I'm not, I just, I'm sitting here tapping my foot, y'all. You know, and I don't know if it's just the drummer in me, but like the beat to this is hitting so good. But then I get distracted from that and I hear them singing together. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there another guy before? Where'd he go? Belt. Oh, there he is. Oh, the lows. Oh, man. I've been sitting here talking about her range, but his range is also crazy because I know we haven't really gotten the chance to hear him like full belt. I mean, sort of, but his harmonies have been ranging from like down in this low chesty tone to kind of up more in his head voice. Why is everyone so good, man? Yeah. Something that I'm also seriously appreciating is the effort it seems they've put into syncing or miming the instruments because obviously the audio is pre-recorded for the show, but the drums match up with what's happening. She's even hitting the tambourine in time. I don't really play that much guitar, but it actually looks kind of legit to me. The singing has very few moments where it feels like it's unnatural or out of sync. And I'm thinking that's probably because they put effort into actually playing the song on set and playing along to it and just not using the audio that they played. It just makes everything feel a lot more natural and put together and makes them really look like legit strong musicians in the show. I mean, look, it's so it's so unimportant and I know you all probably don't care, but I mean, just even little things like this. Watch his eyes. He looks to the fretboard. When people mime in shows, they never do that. They're always just strumming away and flailing their fingers because they don't care. It doesn't matter how they're sounding. But that's why I think they actually probably played it on set. Unless he's just acting his heart out. This is just not something people would think to do unless they're a guitarist and they're actually playing. Man, when they both hit those tones, I love it. <laughs> that drummer just seems like he's living. Are they like a thing? They have like, well, yeah, there you go. I've got a spark in me as I stare into your eyes. I love how much they're enjoying themselves. It's a really contagious energy. Oh my God, the, how, how high can she go? We've heard her with some really low notes and she belts them highs. I just, I don't know. I want to see her just sing in full falsetto. <laughs> She's so salty. I don't know why I still love her though. They're also doing such a great job of managing to mix all these vocals together, but make her still sound like she's the lead. I feel like when it comes to shows that have like bands and multiple singers, they seem to want to put a focus on like everyone singing, which kind of makes it feel like nobody is leading, but he's getting lines and getting harmonies, but she definitely still feels like the lead. It doesn't detract away from that. Oh my God, girl. Okay, there's some highs. And a run down with the breathy notes. Okay. Are they going to disappear? Yeah, okay. So are the drums phantoms too? Because the instruments appear. Thank you. We're Julian the Phantoms. Tell your friends. Man, that... Just also just freaking incredible. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's throwing me. It's not even just how well written the songs are or how well sung they are. It's everything. The production quality is insane with everything from visuals to the music. I'm... I've loved every song and I feel like that's rare. I feel like I'm normally generally enjoying stuff, but I'll have a clear favorite where all of these songs slapping every single one. And I feel happy to say that I have no doubts that this song is not going to change that. I'm still just going to be living for the quality. So the last song we're listening to is called Bright.
Those are those are the phantoms. Why is she singing solo this time? Maybe this is more towards the start of the show. It sounds like a like an organ sitting on the keyboard. Why are all of her outfits so good? It's like what full camo but bright pink shoes. I love it. Sometimes I think I'm falling down. I want to cry. I'm calling out. Oh my god, the slight breathiness on out. Honestly, valid. If I was leaving like the school gym and I heard someone start singing like this, I'd be like, actually, unless I have something going on, I'ma sit here and listen. Is, risk, but I will take it. Close my eyes. is she gonna go big in this one too, or is it gonna stay more this vibe? Oh, 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 drop. Oh, there they are. How did they tell a Oh, two things. I loved that they just went from the sidelines to like, screw it, let's get involved. But also, that was really cute that they got her laughing. That's so uncommon. I feel like you would normally see the character smile or something like that, but not necessarily hear them laugh. But it was such a far away shot and I still heard her laugh. That's so, that's so cute. She wasn't even on camera. That's such a nice character moment. Makes me feel like she's so genuinely happy. Wait, why are they staring at each other like that? Is this really Just go with it. <laughs> okay, so is this like the first time they played together? That makes sense with what I was guessing before. Oh, he's got a nice huskiness to his voice this time. Oh, dude, what the? He had like, I don't even, I don't know whether to call it a trill or a run, but either way, sounded so good, so flawless. Oh my God, his voice is dope. He's so clear and open. Oh, them harmonizing is cool. Her voice is so well suited to the belting. I'm just like, honest, oh dude, they rose it. I'm honestly just sitting here enjoying the music. This happens sometimes with me when I'm doing videos. I just forget that I'm meant to be saying my thoughts and I just sit here going along with what's happening and enjoying myself, I'm getting lost in it. Ooh, so serious. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love that one of her bandmates is enjoying it and she's just so salty. <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh, god damn. That's insane. She just so casually hits really high, nice notes. Oh god, they all slid up. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. Ghosts. <laughs> She's like, where, why, where my bandmates go? Okay, so everyone's confused about how she has a ghost band. Um, so the music, bonkers. That's all I can say. Honestly, I don't, I, I don't think I have anything else to say. Loved every song. I was, I was right, by the way, it didn't change. I still like listen to that last song and I'm like, yeah, 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 every song. Banging. They, they, they didn't miss at all in this entire video. I'm very satisfied. My God. I meant to have things to say. I'm sorry that I don't. That's really it. <laughs> Man, I'm thrown. I don't know what to... That's it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Th thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing me like this. Really good. Loved it. Thanks for recommending it to me. And if you want me to do more, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do another video on this. I need more songs to just add to my everyday playlist apparently. So I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Why do I feel so awkward? Ah, my mind's been blown. I'll see you next time. What a weird outro.